In this unbagging video, we're taking a look at the new hard plastic multipose Norman Infantry from Victrix. This large and bulging bag allows for the construction of 60 28mm figures in total. As with other Victrix packs, and unlike those from most other manufacturers, you are provided with instructions for what bits go where on the figures. Spoiler alert, here's a preview of what 14 of those figures could look like when fully constructed, with their varied and dynamic poses immediately noticeable. Once paint is applied, you're going to have yourself a collection of storming Norman looking miniatures. Check out how the armour pops under the metallic paint. There are two different frames in the pack, this one is a slightly smaller command frame. This painted figure has been given a job of carrying the army standard and has been posed with a pointing hand, one of many varied arm options available in the frames. You will find a total of 13 different bodies in the set, all of which display both great detail and energy. Subtle twists in the body and leg positioning make for an on the tack look to the figures, and the shocked or aggressive facial expressions add to that feel. You have a nice spacious frame to work with when building the models. Here we are, clipping out one of the bodies from the frame. When fitting ours together, we like to use a vise to keep the base and body in place whilst we glue on the various components. Here we are fitting a hood, followed by one of the uncovered heads. There are 23 different heads in total, plus a further 15 helmets which can be fitted to those bodies that come complete with heads attached. It's interesting to note that some of the helmets are of the Phrygian style, generally favoured by wargamers for actions involving Normans in Italy. Other heads come with male coifs attached or loosened and some are bare. Here's our finished standard bearer wearing scale armour, with a hand axe attached to his belt and protected by a flat kite shield. The frame includes a further six curved kite shields for that more exotic look seen on the famous Arnold of Baris shield. Here's two of our finished models ready for the painting table. This next shot shows a new Victrix Norman on the left and one of its ancestors, a Conquest Games plastic Norman on the right. We'll finish by showing you a spin of two of our completed Victrix figures. This video has been brought to you by WI Prime, Wargames Illustrated Magazine's online members club. View more videos or find out more about WI Prime by following these links.